Hi, this is Justin with the on-screen takeoff essentials.com. Um, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about staying organized with your on-screen takeoff conditions. So one of the things that can really uh, be a time killer when you're working in on-screen takeoff is hunting for your condition types. So if you look off to the left here, I have a whole bunch of different conditions type condition types, everything from base to masonry to site stuff to all all sorts of different stuff and it's just kind of in a list right right now but it's not a it's not broken out by division or anything like that it's not organized in any way it's just in there alphabetically and um, that's something that if you've got a couple conditions on your job that's not a big deal but once you start getting into you know projects that have a whole bunch of different conditions you really need to do something to stay organized so what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start going through the this list and trying to find stuff and you're going to be hunting for it and all of that and it's just really going to be kind of difficult for you and then um, later on if you have to turn your takeoffs over to somebody else or something like that it's just going to be hard to find everything and so uh, I just want to talk about a couple different ways that you can organize your takeoffs so I mean there's a couple different ways you can do this so a lot of people will come in here and instead of having just the name of the the type in here they'll have it by division so I've got a whole bunch of those up here so they'll come in here and they'll do these by division like this and then they'll use that to kinda of stay organized I mean that that works um, it's uh, you know it's definitely something that you can do and it definitely gets everything in the order you want um, for me though I mean the issue with that is even when you do that and then you minimize these you have still got this big long list of condition types so um, what I would recommend instead of doing it that way is I would recommend doing that by creating folders for your different divisions so instead of doing that that way, what I would recommend is coming in here and actually organizing your conditions by folder. So what you do is you come in here and you'd right click on your conditions item, you'd click new and you'd go down to folder and you'd click on that and then you'd label your you'd label your folder by division. So you'd create a division 9 folder, you'd create a division 8 folder. And then what you'd do is you take your condition types you know like my base for example I'd select all of those and I just drag them into the folder like this so I'd move all my base in here I'd move all my drywall in here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it so instead of you know still having this big long list of conditions that are in order by division it's actually gonna have all of your conditions sorted by division over here in a folder but it's also something that you can expand and minimize so it's a big time saver or it's a big space saver and it's also really easy to now come in and find your stuff based off your division because you don't have to sort through this super long list of stuff so so this is an example of what this would look like when you're done with it so now as you can see everything is in a folder and everything can be minimized so that you can fit all your folders on one pane over here you know without having to scroll up and down or anything like that now it's real easy to go in here like say if you were gonna take off walls or something like that it's real easy to go into division 9 and just find drywall and find all your drywall conditions in here and then it's real quick to pick those and come in here and do your takeoffs so I mean it's just one of those things that it seems like it would be a small deal but when you are doing when you're working on projects for weeks at a time and you're always having to switch back and forth between conditions and go find things and this list starts getting long every every minute that you can save going in here and looking for stuff is going to make you that much faster and it's going to save you that much time and um, when when you're trying to get organized in OST and you're trying to save time, uh, the small the small things like this are things that are really going to add up. So they seem small, but over time, when you do them hundreds of times, you're going to save yourself a whole lot of time by doing this. So hopefully this was a helpful tip for you. Um, if you wouldn't mind clicking that like button down below, I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, make sure you visit the on-screen takeoffessentials.com for more information on the course. Um, it's going to be a full course that uh, teaches you not only how to use the tools that come with on-screen takeoff, but also tactics like this one 
so that you can spend less time doing takeoff and more time doing the other things you need to do to get your job done. So again, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or anything you struggle with with uh, OST, go ahead and leave a comment below and uh, I'll see what I can do to help you out. And thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it and I'll catch you in the next video.